Hello, Aries. So this is going to be a really special, special reading that I'm doing for not only the retrograde, but because like I forgot to do the Shadows of Judgment and I needed to get those done before I did this, but I didn't. So we're going to do it this way, right? Someone's feeling quite creative. Someone. This could also, um, I don't know if this would represent you because the fool does too. And I always think that that's unfair, but you know, it's whatever. But this could be any of those zodiac signs. Um, someone manifesting, creating, um, developing, using talents as best as possible, getting shit done. This is the Alistair Crowley Toth deck. Sacred to my practice of sorts. Right? So, like, oh my god, I just screwed myself. Right? Right. Yeah, I did. Sorry, cards. It happens. Anyway, I'm going to be using these for the end of October to November 1st reading of this current year, right? Um, if any of y'all are interested in the reading, my information is down below. You just hit me up and then, like, I'll try to get to you. I think my turnover at best is a week because I work a lot. And I tend to procrastinate, and I'm rarely ever alone. Like, I'm alone now, so it's grievy. But any other time, it's kind of like, eh. But yeah, I'm doing those. Also, I am Trigo. So, happy congratulations to me and my little Megatron. My husband actually said I couldn't name a Megatron. I was kind of upset by that. I'm told I have a kid named Megatron. I hope he's huge and burly and beats people up. Not for fun or anything, but because, like, he's the one who can. That'd be cool. So, we're going to do this spread for you, Aries, and we're going to see. There's going to be, like, a two-sided thing, right? One side is one possibility, and here's the other. There will be advices for each one, or how they both develop on either side. And up here will be the choices. They can either be congruent with each other, or they'll oppose each other. We'll see as we get there, right? And I will try to take my time because I've just modified this reading. They came with this deck in order for it to work better for me. Because it was kind of confusing. Just a little bit though. Not too much. One. Two. No whammies. All right, Aries, let us start with this little Venus retrograde reading I got for y'all, all right? So, here are the lovers, possibly Gemini, dealing with a combination of sorts. On one side, we have, hmm, six of cups reverse. Could refer to the future, maybe a displeasure of sorts, since this is a card of pleasure. <coughs> the cups look like presents. But they also kind of look like hung down champagne, or not champagne, um, chandelier lamps, too, at this angle. Like, that's the ceiling, and they're all just hanging down, and like, it kind of looks like they got eggs in them. Hmm. And then on this side, we have a knight of swords who is running away from battle and keeping their mouth shut. Right? Those are the two sides so far. So on this side... We have the Eight of Pentacles, and on this side, we have the Emperor. Here is where you are, Aries, as this is your card, and here is the Eight of Pentacles, where I think that's, like, bearing the fruits of one's, like, labors of sorts. Then, we have the High Priestess, and the Four of Cups. Indulgence and luxuries a little bit, maybe, and a bit of secrets going on over here, right? Then we have the Seven of Wands reversed, some really hectic Leo energy, some valor, someone's like, okay. And then on this side is the <laughs> Knight of Wands, someone running the fuck off, someone taking off, someone riding in. Um, 
Okay, so here's what I get right. On this one where it deals with like what's possible with I think the future when it comes to a lover situation and opposed to someone like kinda not saying what needs to be said, I think. But you're avoiding like talking of some sorts, right? Here you are. Feeling like possibly you missed an opportunity of getting some sort of luxury or getting like something special emotionally or maybe it's just the emotion of loving that kind of luxury and someone could be dashing off and that could be you so far Aries. We're on this side where there's like the cups of the future of pleasure of maybe even looking back at the past and seeing more good times. There's some fruits of labors, like whatever somebody was trying to grow is about to um, sprout out, right? But they're keeping it hidden behind the high priestess, or the priestesses in this deck. And now there's a bit of... I feel like with this, <coughs> exasperation, like, <coughs> overdoing it to look valuable or have a value of sorts I guess that makes sense mind you I've never done this reading before so bear with me and, and, I've, and I have a hard time um, interpreting these cards so I'm doing the best I can but hopefully this is a fun time for you too so it looks like you have some control about possibly missed opportunity to get something and like possibly you're running towards it? I'm not sure yet. Whereas over here, something was planted and the fruits are growing, but that's hidden with this exasperated action. Which could be your undoing, because that's also like reverse, like a card of kind of like your people are over top of you. People came in your house to beat you with sticks. They didn't wait for you to come outside. People were um, coming against you a little bit. People are on your side, you know? Okay, so what could this one actually deal with? Love. Oh, two of cups. Looks like you put some energy into some romance, especially dealing with the lover's card. Like, look, boop, boop, boop. On this side with the lover's card where you might be in control, there's a completion, something with the home, I think, with the four of wands right like you were at home with this lover situation you felt like you were in control with the second card which is a secret the high priestess it is way too heavy it is a heavy oppression that you want to get over or you're on the verge of getting over this oppression with this lost opportunity of luxury or maybe it isn't even the luxury that you're wanting maybe you just decided to let it go and then take off it was a failure with this valor this exasperated endless people coming against you ooh nine of wands you kept your guard up with it you did a pretty good job you had the strength to deal with it and now with this Knight of Wands taking off for fiery battle. Oh, this devil. <laughs> a little bit of bondage in that, right? Like someone's so busy running off talking that like they're just going and fighting. You know? Someone's failure is causing them to fly off because they didn't get what they wanted. There's an, The secret was a very big oppression, but they're just now getting over that. And they have the strength to deal with all this shit, right? All stemming from, like, future endeavors or even something that, like, was dealing with the past that might bring them something even better, right? Let's see what three cards cover the first side. Ooh, got two so far. We have, ah, happiness, but at what cost? And possibly a third party situation with all this. Maybe that was the Hebrewist with that Nine of Cups. 
Maybe that's why someone's keeping themselves in bondage by not opening their mouth. But running into argue and fight. Which is just like you, Aries. Like, sometimes you really don't think before you do things, and then you end up regretting it. I hate to say that. Like, it's not like there's anything wrong with that, but, it, it, I mean, I can see where it could bite you in the ass. You know? But I'm, an, I'm, but I'm a Capricorn, so, like, it, that's kind of my persona. Like, looking ahead before I do things. I kind of wish I could be you guys sometimes, because at least you, you, you know when to do shit, right? Oh. But you're defeated in this situation. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's how this side is going, right? Let's see what this side holds over for you, Aries. I feel like this is all almost stems together, but I don't know how well. There is, like, some hubris with all of that, like, happiness you're getting in possibly a third-party situation, or even an affair, but that ended in defeat. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's see what this side says. If it'll ever come out. <laughs> ah, these are such new cards. Like, I would almost clarify these, but I feel like I really don't need to with this spread. There we go. Oh, we have someone capable of manifesting all of this. But I feel like they really are holding back with the fertility. Like, it's useless to do anything. Like, look at all those swords. All pointing to this one sword. Almost in like... It was this bitch right here. <laughs> kind of vibe. And... This would be the A honor as what we would regularly call in normal tarot justice or judgment. And it's reversed. Uh, what someone manifested was kind of like found out like there's a seven and here's a seven. So it's like maybe they got caught finding out something. And that's why people were coming against them. And bad judgment was involved somewhere. And here's the feet on this side. So these two might get together. And then here's the Queen of Swords. Being decisive in all of this. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini type. Ah! Oh, and this could be a Capricorn because this is the Devil card. And... There's a way of keeping someone in bondage with that. Oh, look, this Nine of Swords has something to gain, which I think is her identity. Huh, that... Never mind. Never mind. I was going to say something, but never mind. I'm keeping myself in a little bit more check. <laughs> and one more, we are done. You all will definitely have to let me know how this spread goes, because, like, I'm very curious if it works for me or not. Especially considering I've never done it before. Like, I've practiced a couple times, but, like, I wasn't sure if I was getting the messages right or not, but I'm not getting that vibe right now. Oh, my grace, and all that comes with it. Yeah. Oh, you got two. Queen of Wands, fiery on her throne, petting her kitty cat. I love that she always has a cat. That makes me so happy. <laughs> and she is fiery. She's standing there, almost judging with all of that ablaze around her. But here is the ace of this, the ace of pentacles reversed. Like a bad offer or the offer is not what it seems like it looks the same um reverse as it does upside down so maybe it's not that bad maybe it's just the delay of this offer 
or there's something about this offer that's um maybe somebody has to wait a bit which I know you guys aren't really good at like your fire sign so it's like patience is not your virtue <laughs> right but I don't know maybe there's something being offered that like I'm not even sure how to look at this reversed, really, because it's just like, it doesn't look like a bad offer right side up or upside down, really. But it's the, it, it's that vibe, you know, like, uh, what did Stephen King once said? The creepiest thing that, um, I think could ever happen to you is walking in your home and realizing every single item in your home is a replica of the original. Kind of like that, right? Like, it looks like what it is, but it's not. Not that it's a bad offer, it's just... Off. But, there you go for the retrograde, and I hope to see you later, Aries. Bye-byes.